What's up, guys, and welcome to your App Store update for Monday, May 13th. I'm Justin. I'm Destin. No, I'm Mitch. Nope. You are Mitch Dyer. Destin Legary. Destin Legary. Ooh, he's not here today. He's not here? Where is he? Well, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't see him. <laughs> I, so I assume he's MIA, <laughs> possibly a missing person. Call the police. It's true. Um, we have a handful of game launches, a handful of games price drops. Okay. No one call the police, by the way. No, I was only, please don't. You were saying that. And while you were saying that, I was thinking about the next thing I wanted to say, and then my brain just caught up. Okay. And I'm like, no, don't. And you heard the police thing. <laughs> yeah, don't do what okay. I said. Um, the first game debut is Trigger City. <laughs> okay. This is a River City Ransom. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's like an actual clone, but you know what I mean. I mean, it's just obviously like a River City Ransom deal. The characters well, even look the same. Really? They got like the fat heads and stuff? But the only thing is they don't say barf ah, when you kill What's one. even the point? You earn money and you can buy power-ups. Oh, I'm <laughs> oh, you're on a motorcycle. I am on a motorcycle. Well, this is way different. The first stage was River City Ransom, so now I'm thrown, hit cars. I'm thrown for a loop. Wow. They, uh, they did not account for you hitting cars in their animations. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to do the bike level because I don't know what the bike level is. I didn't know that was going to happen. Yeah. I want to do the, the fighting The, the level. punching part. Can you just go back to an earlier mission? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can. Great. So what's the – it is a River City Ransom clone, but is it good? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's got touchscreen, you know, touchscreen combat, so that part's not great. You move it's way got, slower than I would like. It's got a simple combo system, so my combo meter filled, and then you can do, you know, sort of fancier moves. But I otherwise, like those animations. <laughs> It's going to be a long night. Yeah, it is. The first time you get punched. Otherwise, it's the same sort of deal. Sure. So punch, punch, kick. Or what's the other? Is it kick, kick, punch? Punch, kick, punch. There's different combos. Um, not making any of these dumb blood effects. Yeah, this is the game. I mean, it's it's fine. The like music's kind of cool. Yeah, I kind of dig. I like the game style a lot. And, uh, you know, I liked it as a combo system. But, you know, virtual D-pad, virtual buttons. Um, the boss fight was kind of interesting. How so? I don't know. Just it just was. It was it was just okay. For, yeah. Uh, for a brawler. This is ninety nine cents. That's Trigger City. All right. I like its style more than probably the actual gameplay. Sure. Today's other game debut is Rebirth of Fortune two. Of course. This is a generic like tactics Final Fantasy tactics clone. Yep. Um, but you would be surprised. You would think the iOS would be full of these. Sure. But it's kind of not. Yeah. Besides got, actual Final you Fantasy Tactics. You got that Final tactics. Fantasy Tactics. But that's also, what, like 20 bucks? That's really expensive. Um, there's not a, a lot, good alternative? There's not a lot of quality ones for, I think this one's 99 it cents. It is a dollar, yes. And so you can't beat that. I'm just going to mosey over here to this goblin. Um, Are the so, fights terribly tactical, or do you find yourself just like, oh, well, I'm basically invincible. Oh, nope, that guy wrecked you. Okay. Well, I mean, I just downloaded this this morning, so okay. I don't really know. You still um, get the feel for it? Yeah, but so far I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. You know, it's like I have ranged guys, I have, I have, uh, you know, melee guys. I choose what direction I want to face. When you have my a, a over. dog with big ears in the corner. Yeah, I don't know. I think that was the enemy, right? Yeah. I don't know how video games work. Am I going to be in range now? I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm telling oh, you. You're an archer. You can do whatever you want to. So you know, there's, yeah. this game isn't doing anything different than like other games that I've seen, but. Uh, there's just a lack of, you know, polished, inexpensive tactical RPGs on the App Store. So right. can I attack my own guy? This yeah, is, is traitor. Well. Sorry. So um, that's not bad. Yeah. Rebirth of Fortune 2. The one thing I will say is they that... They didn't even uh, try to, like, shorten the name no. for the app. They could have called it Fortune 2 or something. Well, they did. They did ROF 2. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm looking at this one. I'm looking at the original. Yeah. People can't see where you're pointing. This I is... <laughs> we're just capturing I'm pointing for you for context. So, um, the only thing I will say is that the <laughs> English is very, very bad in okay. the game. You know, it's from China or somewhere, and yep. they don't have a grasp of English. Okay. Um, but the gameplay itself seems fine. What you were pointing at, the original Reverse of Fortune... Ooh. Ooh. Um is free as a result of the sequel coming uh -huh. out. So this Should is I buy this, one over the other? Well, this one's free, and okay. the other one's you know new, Sorry, so it's by, pl cents. by buy, I mean play. Yeah, I mean, this seems much clunkier and older. You'll also okay. see that it's iPhone only. Yes. Um, based on what I saw, like, <laughs> again, this seemed fine, but it's just a couple years old, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like everything just didn't seem, it doesn't look as good. Yeah, they've um, come a long way with the art, though. Yeah, I mean, when you look at it on an iPhone, it doesn't look so bad, better, but on the iPad screen. But still, I mean, uh, the, the textures and the models are, like, way better in the sequel, yeah, obviously. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I would say for free, you know, again, maybe give this a download, but, I, you know, the sequel definitely seems like a better, more polished game. Um, I would rather just spend the dollar. This, I mean, it looks functionally identical. Yeah, for sure. 
There's actually, I mean, I uncovered this whole, this company has four games, this Fortune Chronicle yeah. franchise. Sorcerer of Fortune. But this one is more like a puzzle quest to deal. Ooh. And so, you know, I don't. they're like kind of set in the same universe. They're kind of the same style. Whatever. But you'll Cares. see this one is. Ugh. What? Are these the gems you have to match? Yeah. This is gross. Yeah, it does. It doesn't look great. I don't even see a match. Do you? Oh, there's one. What? It does one interesting thing, and hopefully, it's, it's like, hopefully, on. I can show this here. So when I match, the gems fall in from one side, and when the yeah. enemy matches, they fall in from the other side. <clears throat> so that adds like maybe one more tactical layer. Like you'll see his fall in from the other side now. But otherwise, that's really the only interesting thing that this game does. Nobody on this earth is going to play this game fewer times than I will. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, it, this is not, doesn't seem as polished or as fun as their like tactical RPG. I love the um, intense music, even though you're just moving rocks. And they have a third one, too. So this is Defender of Fortune. <laughs> of course. And this is, again, Fortune Chronicle mm. Episode 3. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's another sort of genre switch. you got to play the all of them to get the full story. And this one's a little bit of like a tower defense deal. Oh, so, cool. um, you know, I already placed these archers up here. We're starting into the middle. And then okay. when I place these enemies, then they sort of follow the lanes. Oh, it's plants versus zombies. Um, a little bit, but it's more like RPG style. Like sure. When I level up my castle, I can eventually place some towers sort of on the side. I have this catapult that can like attack, that can target huh. certain areas. Well, okay, um, this is really cool. I'm into this. And this is also free. Oh, man. And again, like I'm a little bit, you know, I've only played like five waves, so I don't know whether it's balanced or unbalanced. But sure. uh, so far, my initial impression, my archers are gonna start going crazy here in a second. Yeah, they are. There they go. Welcome. Bah. Get it. And you can level up your troops and stuff. So, um, you know, you have this money that you can spend to upgrade your guys. Um, oh, my all, oh my God! Look at these visuals. All of a sudden, it's just like explosions and yeah. flashes and. So I should say that uh, so it was Return of Fortune 2 is out now, and that's 99 cents. And that company's other three games are free. By return, you mean rebirth. It, did I say return? You said return. Yeah. Did I mean rebirth? I don't even I don't know. Oh, Yo, yeah, you're right. It is rebirth. If you search of fortune, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, Probe's game Flick Pig is Flick free. Flick Pig. Okay. Is and this I, new? No. Okay. This um, is just a price drop. Yeah. This is a freebie. Um, I better double check that that's the case. Otherwise, I will be a liar, You Mitch. will. You will. Where is it? Yeah, He's it's looking free. for the details. Flick Pick is cool. I thought it was like a Subway Surfers deal because it's got these lanes that you swipe between, but it's yep. actually kind of a puzzle game. You can stack your pigs Whoa. up. Whoa. Spicy pigs. And so you're trying to stack them up, and there's like walls so I, to get that fruit that's up high. Oh, this is like an endless runner that I actually kind of care about. Yeah, so did you see how I had to get I out did, of the did. way? Yes. Of, it's really cute. It's got three, cool. three stars on each level. Um. Flick Pig is actually totally legit. So it's like, okay, I want this. Then I gotta stack them up. Oh you gotta try God. to time it really carefully. Oh, oh man, you are you are pro. Yeah. I, you can't see anything. <laughs> That's a concern. Yeah. Uh, you messed it up. No, I didn't. You missed one of the boxes. Oh, well, that's okay. You, okay. Don't, you don't need to do like everything perfect to get three stars. It's just based on score. I love the like cardboard cutout art of that cow. Yeah. It's really good. Um, I'm not going to jump into it, but Ion Avenger mm. is like a $9 RPG that's $0.99 cents today. Yeah. So, you know, if you're okay. a JRPG guy, grab that. But the, this is the game of the year. Crabatron. Right Crabatron. I'm so excited to watch um, more of this game. Yeah, Crabatron is normally 2 bucks and it's on sale for $0.99. Cents. You should 100% buy this. So the way that this works is you place four fingers on the screen. Justin's using both of his hands on his iPad, four finger thumb, both hands, to swipe uh. to punch cop cars. <laughs> and then, and you then can, pinching to pinch. You pinch your fingers together to pinch. Like, uh. pinch that car. Yeah, <laughs> get it. Uh. And then you try to eat the people inside. Get which you're almost doing. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> you just threw that dude into space. It's one of those games that's like a little bit intentionally hard to control, but yeah. not really. It's like quap, like, but not nearly as awful. Do you want to control one claw, Mitch? I do, yeah. Okay, you, do can, you, can be the, you can be the, the left claw. And then we have to protect from the missiles. I'm out of control here. Yeah, my claw's all like janky and sideways. I don't know that the multi-touch is working quite the I way it's supposed one's me, to. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, my eye. Okay, okay, I'm okay. I'm just gonna give that back to you. Maybe local multiplayer is <laughs> not the way to do this. <laughs> but this is Kravitron, so you pinch with your two fingers to pinch and get over here, car. Get that taxi. Look but how happy this crab is. Whoa! Into his mouth. <laughs> he loves food. I'm, I'm gonna you guys. eat that person. Get him. Oh. Ugh. Oh, I love this game so much. So I Oh no! 
I know, I know, I know. So you have these little missions that you're kind of trying to okay. complete. Uh, you know, the same as a lot of these games. Eat an ambulance. I love it. Yeah, of course I got an ambulance. I don't oh, know his what, arm grew back. What's in the crab lab? Oh, can you upgrade your claws independently? Ooh, this is where the microtransactions come in. Yeah, but it's like you're earning that money. Yeah, in yeah. just a couple minutes, I earn 300 coins. So. I would give them money for something called Crushatronic Strength. <laughs> yeah, of course you would. Oh my god, do you get burp power-ups? Suckatron Vacuum. Coin doubler, coin tripler. So, you know, if you buy the game for 99 cents, you can buy the coin doubler. And okay. then, you know, that's kind of an investment. That's Crabatron. It's yes. normally two bucks. It's on sale for 99 cents. Buy. Purchase. Yeah. Recommended. I mean, Crabatron is the highlight of the day. For ni 99 cents, everybody needs to buy that. If you're a tactical RPG fan, you also have a couple options. Yeah. Um, Mitch, thanks for joining me. Hey, man. No sweat. Everyone at home, thank you for tuning in. Remember that, uh, you know, we're covering all the hottest mobile games on IGN. So keep it locked to IGN.com slash wireless and YouTube.com slash IGN mobile games.